guys welcome back okay so today's bold blue eye look is brought to you by this new high tide eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. it's aqua themed it is one of their nine pan palettes and the colors range from deep dark aqua shades to beautiful light aqua shades there are mattes as well as shimmers so very very gorgeous palette and when i saw it i knew i had to have it so these are the swatches for this palette as you can see nicely pigmented i like the fact that they are slightly powdery you know with them being pressed pigments that means that they're easier for me to blend out but that's just my personal opinion <laughs> but let's go ahead and just jump into this look so the first color I'm going into is called Lunar. It is the darkest shadow in the palette and it is nicely pigmented. Typically when I'm starting out with a dark shade, I like to press it into my crease until I find out exactly how pigmented the shadow is. And to me, it's performing like, you know, the typical color pop shadows, but it is giving me a little bit more pigment than the typical shadows and i'm loving that so this is what that color is looking like in my crease i'm just going in a few times to build it up before i blend it out so to help me blend out that shade i'm going into new wave taking a dense brush and just kind of blending that on the outer edge of that dark blue i want to create a nice gradient for this monochromatic look just to give it a little bit of depth and dimension. And so as you can see, I'm just blending out the edge with that second shade to add another form of color. Those two shadows are blending into each other very, very nicely. I'm liking the way that this eye look is going so far. Now to brighten it up, I'm going into this shade Currents. And this shade actually showed up lighter and brighter than I thought it would. And I really, really like that because it just gives that nice pop on the upper portion of my lid. And as you can see, it is blending into those shadows so nicely. And that's what we want for the gradient. We want that nice blend, nice and seamless. We don't want any harsh edges. So... I am loving how this palette is performing thus far. It's really giving me exactly what I want as far as this crease work goes. So that is those three shadows blended together. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of cleaning up my corners, giving myself a nice sharp edge. I know I wanted to play with one of my magical makeup shimmers today. So I'm just going in with some of my NYX glitter primer tapping a bit of that on my lid although there are some really pretty shimmers in this palette i definitely wanted to start out with a bang <laughs> so that's why i'm going in with my magical makeup because you know the ColourPop shimmers are nice but i have all of these singles and i really want to put them to use so this shade from Magical Makeup is called Mermaid Soul. It is one of my favorite singles from them. It is so gorgeous. Now, what I will say about their shadows, it definitely comes off better on the lid if you use a finger, but because I have these long nails, that's pretty much impossible for me to do right now. So I am just using a flat synthetic brush to apply it. And this is what it looks like now because I have hooded eyes of course I do get creasing with these shadows but you know I don't know what I can really do to avoid that so going back into the palette I'm going into a dark satin called Muscle Beach and I'm just tapping that right next to that first shimmer blending those edges together as you can see it's a really really pretty just like I said dark satin type uh shade and it actually looks like it might be like two colors together so it might be a dual chrome don't quote me on that but it's very very pretty nonetheless so as you can see that's helping to kind of deepen up that outer corner and it's blending beautifully with these other shadows i really really like how this look is coming together 
So for liner, I decided to try out one of my new Beauty Creations like cream gel pots. And this one fits perfectly, it's called Aqua Glow. It is a light aqua shade. So as you can see, it's adding another dimension of aqua to this look. But I really like how it just kind of brightened up that line, that lash line. Now you can go in with a dark liner, of course, if you want, but you guys know me. I try to go as bold as possible for the most part because <laughs> that's what I like. So yeah, this is the look so far. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my complexion and add the lashes and let's go ahead and finish up this lower lash line. So I wanted to go kind of dark and smoky. So I'm just taking my black pencil liner, lining those lower lashes or lash line, I should say, and going back into the darkest shade, which is called Lunar and just using a small pencil type brush to smoke out my lower lash line. Not going down too far though. Now to add that pop in my inner corner, I'm going into this beautiful shade called Free Floating. And I didn't even spray my brush, you guys, so you can see how beautiful and bright that this shade is. Oh my gosh, I was so surprised how it came out, but I don't know why. ColourPop actually has some really nice shades or really nice shadows, I should say. So I shouldn't be surprised. Very, very pretty, and I love that. So for my lips, I went ahead and used my favorite lip liner. <laughs> if you guys are OGs, you know this is the ColourPop and Ellery lip liner beautiful burgundy shade and I don't know you guys I am just so stuck on these Fenty gloss balm creams every single color I just love them so when I don't really want to think about what I'm doing with my lips I just throw on one of these gloss balm creams and you know no muss no fuss and it's not a problem I love them they go with everything so to set my face I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury uh, what is that the airbrush flawless airbrush spray <laughs> and I really really like it yeah airbrush flawless setting spray it works out so nicely I've really been enjoying using this I know I need to do an updated shop my stash I've just been using all kind of stuff you guys so I've been <laughs> really bad with it but anywho this is the look for today. I hope you guys like it. I had a lot of fun creating it and thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will see you on the next one. Toodles. Talk to me nice.